Hi everyone, it's me Kat. Thank you for tuning into my channel. If you're new, welcome. I appreciate you checking me out. If you would, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button now so you can see all my future videos. And if you're returning, welcome back. I truly enjoy your company and thank you so much. Today is Wednesday, so I have another installment of my Confession Wednesday. And it's my volume eight. So let's go ahead and get started. If you saw my last video on Monday, you would have seen my um, palette and eyeshadow collection. Um, so that was the majority of it. Um, I actually have more and that's what I have to confess to you. I have more eyeshadow palettes but I decided to not share them with you because I have not used them yet. So let me show you what I have and I need your help to let me know if I should keep them or if I should return them. So I have nine that I've bought and I haven't touched and I don't know if I should keep it or not. So the first one is this Urban Decay Electric Palette. I bought this on sale at Sephora. I guess this is discontinued. And I was gonna return it because I typically like a palette that I can do like a whole look on. But the reason why I want to consider keeping this for a few reasons. One, I just think these colors are so pretty. And if I want to do like a very avant-garde or crazy look, I think these are the colors that I would need. And I, a lot of these, I don't have anything like it. Two, this brush right here. I haven't, op I haven't used it yet. So one of my favorite YouTubers, her, her name is Kimberly Clark, uses this on the regular and she raves about the application wise of it. And she also raves about these colors, but she's a drag queen, so she has time to use these colors. I don't know when I would use these, but they're just so pretty. So I don't know if I should keep this or not. So the second palette that I have that's brand new, I've never used, is from the Balm Meet Matte Trimony. This one right here, and this is all the matte palettes. I actually got this at, um, here it is. I actually got it at Nordstrom Rack. So let's see, do I have the price on here? It was like $14.97. I don't know if um, it's cheaper where I got it. I don't know if this is discontinued. I guess the balm is mostly sold at Kohl's and I don't shop there, so I don't know what it's like. And um, when I saw it and I heard Emily, Emily Noel talk about this was her favorite, one of her favorite matte palettes. But looking at it, it's like, I don't know if I'm gonna use these colors. I mean, I love, I love a matte palette. That's really my jam. But I don't know if I'm gonna use this. I don't know if I'm inspired by it. So let me know if I need to keep that one. The next three are from CoverGirl. These palettes are the, the, the True Naked colors. And I got the Roses, the Nudes, and the Jewels. And I don't know if it was like, well I know it was Tati. Tati was talking about, and whatever Tati says to do, it's like, I'm like, all right. You win Tati, you say I need it in my life, I will get it. She, I remember she talked about this one and like she said this one was a great formula if you wanna do these looks, la la la. So I got them, but then you know, I was getting like coupons in the Sunday paper and I don't know what it was. What I remember I got some coupons for CoverGirl and I had um, extra bucks for CVS. So these like made it free, I don't, so I have them, but I haven't used them. So let me know if any of these are worth keeping and I will keep it, otherwise I will return it because I don't need all of this stuff. So um, during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, I bought this, the Peanut Butter and Jelly. These are cute palettes and I'm really drawn into this purple one. Now I have the peanut butter and honey and I was really drawn into that yellow one. So, and I don't know, I'm still kind of trying to figure out if I like the formula on it. So I'm pretty sure this will be the same. This one doesn't really smell that much. But if you saw my um, peanut butter and honey videos, you will know that I did a honey versus honey. I didn't like a little spin. It was like that honey palette, peanut butter and honey palette versus uh, a whiskey honey, wild turkey, 
American Honey Whiskey, and I kind of saw which one I liked better. <laughs> so when I saw this, I was like, oh, maybe I can find like a peanut butter or a peanut liquor, like alcohol or jelly, like some kind of like drink and do the same thing with that. So that's kind of like why I have this. But I haven't tried it yet. I don't know if I should keep it. Should I keep it? Do you guys like it? Let me know. The next two palettes I got at the at Nordstrom Rack. And these were $14.97. They're both from Too Faced. This one is the Cat Eyes. And this one's totally cute. So let's look at the Cat Eyes. So anything that's leopard, I'm, you know, a, bi a big fan. And anything that has the word cat in it, because that's my name, I'm like, oh, let, let me check it out. So these colors are super pretty. They're very like boudoir, sexy. I like that whole, and I like the names like Pur, Pur Meow, Kitten, Kitten Glitter, Pussycat, Tiger's Eye, Leopard, Jungle Love, Panther. Like it just speaks to me, but I don't know if these colors were, are gonna work for me just because they look a little bit more on the lighter side and it might not work for this brown girl. So let me know if you're a brown girl and you have this and you love it or you hate it and or if you, not a brown girl and you your opinion on it because I haven't really seen too much on this one now the Too Faced totally cute I just thought I love the packaging okay first I love the packaging I like that it's tin I think these colors are cute that pink one's so like it's calling my name and even this green one right there that's calling my name too but what I thought it was so cute is they came with these little stickers Am I wrong to want to keep this palette because of the stickers? Not that I would keep, use the stickers. I think I'm actually going to give it to my niece who loves stickers. So let me know what you think about this palette if you have it. I don't even think they have this anymore. So this shit's old. I haven't used it. So, And then the last um, palette that I have is from Tarte. It's the Sex Kitten. Now, it's a limited edition. I bought it at Ulta. And... Again, kitten, you know, has a little cat on it. I'm a crazy cat lady. I thought, oh my God, I have to have this, right? And I saw my friend on YouTube, her name is Sabrina, the Sabrina the Makeup Mom. She uses palette and it was so pretty on her. And I was like, oh man, I gotta have it. I haven't touched it because I'm still on the fence. Like I don't want to keep too many things that are gonna be like duplicates of stuff that I already have. So that's my confession. When I showed you my makeup palette collection slash eyeshadow collection, I showed you what I've used, but I didn't show you what I have on deck to see because I don't even know if I'm gonna keep them. So help me with my pennants. Let me know which one I should keep and which one I should discard, meaning which one I should return. So um, I'm willing to give up three. I think I'm willing to give up three right now, so let me know which three you would get rid of, and let me know the three that you would keep, for sure. But help me with this, I have issues. You guys are so supportive on helping me with my confessions. <laughs> just let me know. Oh, also, while I have you, like I just wanted to show you my little, not that I'm showing you my boobs, but this little halter top is like a romper. It has a pockets in it super cute I just wanted to share that with you it's not mine I'm renting it if you want to know more about me renting clothes I'll put a playlist of my Latote because this is who it's from in the description below so you can check it out anyways please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this confession Wednesday and let me know in the comments the three I should keep definitely keep and the three I should uh, return and until next time take care